All right, let's talk about your movie. Do you okay. have more than one movie here? Letters? No, one, one. Okay, letters, letters from, from the Big, big Man. Man. Right. Yes. Which um, I'm not even sure how to describe, but being from, I know. being from Colorado and kind of growing up in the middle yeah. of nowhere, I loved the middle of nowhere aspect of it yeah. and, the, and the forest. Are we in Oregon? Is we are. Anything? We shot the whole thing in Oregon, and I had never... That part of the country is so beautiful and that and right. we we were all over the place and that one second you can be on the coastline and it looks like you're in Greece and then you're sort of in the rainforest and then and everything is so massive your film um, you play Sarah Smith mm -hmm. which I appreciated the Smith character always good to have one uh, and you are a park ranger essentially or a biologist yes yeah, she works sorts. for the Forest Service but Forest she, yeah. Service right and you basically are happiest in nature yes. with no one around. That's right. And so I was watching that film at some point. I'm like, well, no one's around. I and wonder, no one was around. Yeah, let I, me like, tell I can't you. wait to ask her. <laughs> were, was there craft service like 20 yards away? Or was craft, there really craft no service was, was like a cooler on a picnic table? Yeah. All right. We'll just talk about that a little bit. Um, it was, yeah, to, to make a movie where you. So much of it is solitary, and the experience of shooting it was very much that for me. It was a very, very small crew, and um, true, all of my indi true independent film, true independent film, yeah. doing my own continuity. So <laughs> I don't know yeah. how, I'm sure there, you know, I, I I don't know how good I was at that, but um, yeah, changing in the in the back of the car and. Um, but luckily, I didn't have to wear any makeup because she really <laughs> would. And you're so fit. Oh, oh my thanks. God, those jump roping scenes thanks. and stuff. I was like, wow. <laughs> it's, well, you, it's a part with the character, obviously, because you have to be able to survive anything. Yeah, she's tough. She's scrappy. She's a she's a survivor. But I think, you know, Sarah is. That's what she thrives on. Um, sort of overcoming whatever and, and and not ever needing to. I think it's probably her greatest strength and her greatest weakness is that she she uh, is unable to let anyone help her. She mm -hmm. wants to, you know, she, she can't let anyone in, but she also then is able to survive a lot by herself. What's the takeaway for you when you're an actor, obviously you're reading this and... What to me, when I read it, it, it was really more about the, the, the metaphor, and I don't know, the filmmaker might um, feel differently than I do about that, but, but for me, it was really about, um, you know, the, the, the things that, whether real or not, um, when we want something, when we're missing something, just as humans, we're able to project uh, so much into those things that we're missing, mm -hmm. and I think that that, that is, um, to me, what the big man Right, represents. that's what she's projecting onto him. Yeah. Oh, so well, have much. fun at Sundance. Enjoy. Thank you. And it's snowing, and I get to go I skiing know. tomorrow. Oh, you oh, are? Oh, yeah. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I saw it this morning. I was looking over. I was like, oh. No, I know. And then the minute it started snowing, I just, I, it's, it's great. It will happen.